Alrighty, so it's Tuesday. Uploaded two videos yesterday, even a technically just unprivatized a video for my old channel on this channel. And uploaded a video. But, but, it's because of Bushiro releasing Blaster Dark skill today from their live stream. So, we are going to cover the old cards, guys. Hello, my name is Silver. Welcome back to the channel, and today, guys, we're covering the Shadow Paladin releases. So, on top of the Blaster Dark being released today, we also had Blaster Javelin and this guy, Pulverizing Knight, which is a grade 3. I believe he's from the Trial Deck. I can't tell with this current um image. Yep, he's from the Trial Deck. I'm blind. So, his skill is, when this attacks a Vanguard from Rear, if you have rear, more Rear Guards, this unit gets 5 tame until end of turn. He also has the Force Mark. It's an okay card. Okay card. Moving along, we have uh, Nightmare Painter. Probably one of my favorite cards from this set. Um, sadly, she is just a common, so let's move along. Uh, when when placed, costs, put a grade 1 or lower from your drop zone into soul. This unit gets plus 3k until end of turn. I like this card a lot. Because it combos well with the next card. Uh, Skull Witch, no main, which we got either yesterday or the day before. Probably yesterday. I don't think I've uploaded a video about her yet. Uh, originally a grade 2 that used to search out a grade 0 or something. But cost, rest this unit, search your deck for one card with power 5k. Call it to open rear and shuffle deck. This ability only activates once per turn. But... Even by card effects with the same name, I thought this would search any grid one or less. My bad. Uh, if you active, if you activate this copy of Skull Witch and call another one, the called copy cannot use her effect. So they are restricting her skill to once per turn. So you're mostly going to probably end up searching out triggers. Probably something like your uh, criticals because you're going to be running eight of them. But not a bad card. High rarity. I'm a as everyone's assuming, she probably has a card you combo with. Um, moving along to the next card, so we're going to swap over to the wiki now from Coalition, is Blaster Javelin. Uh, when placed, if you have a grid one or less rear guard, counter blast one, draw a card, this unit gets 3k until end of turn. Um, that's a pretty solid card. Um, when, the, when placed, yep, so... It's essentially Allen is what everyone compares it to, but I love the art for this card, honestly. Um, and if we move along to the final card of the video, it is Blaster Dark, the Edgelord himself. Um, and honestly, he is so much better than Blaster Blade. So let's get into his skill. Let's start off with his first Vanguard Rearguard skill. Uh, when place, cost counter blast one. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards, or your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards and retires it. Now, to some people, that doesn't sound good, but let me tell you, it's not bad either. Because in complete decks, in a competitive deck, every card is key to a degree and why it's on the rear guard. So if you go and snipe against royal decks, the blaster blades off the field, it's good. Um... It's second skill is where it's really going to shine, in my opinion. If your opponent has no rear guards, cost, discard a card from hand, and then, and this unit gets plus one drive until end of turn. Giving Blaster Dark Twin Drive is amazing. The pressure that this card is going to apply is awesome, because the only way to completely counter this card is to fill up your rear guards entirely. Which means you either got to call, for Royals at least, you got to call three Akanes to keep your hand size. And then use her skill three times to call three Pongles. Which I don't think you could even physically do. Essentially, you're, get, you're gonna end up burning out your hand to prevent this. Because if, if your opponent has four all four copies, it, you're just done. And you only have four rear guards, he's gonna get Twin Drive. Which... For most people should be an okay thing so again calling three rear guards probably keeps you safe but i wouldn't count on it 
This card is really good thus far, and I really hope Shadows keep going forth, because I've loved Shadows. I wanted them to be my first deck when I started playing, but I couldn't afford them at the time. So, we're going to see what's going to happen. But, until next time, guys, this special Tuesday preview, or Tuesday video, has been brought to you by Silver, the Silver Wolf. I'll see you all later. Peace.